Hey, what's going on, big fam? Big Ken talks here, and Ticket to Paradise is a 2022 romantic comedy directed by Ole Parker. Reuniting George Clooney and Julia Roberts in their fifth feature film together as a divorced couple who must set aside their differences in order to sabotage their daughter's wedding to a man she just met. All because they fear that their daughter, played by Caitlin Dever, is making the same mistakes they once made when they were their daughter's age. Now, is it just me, or does it feel like mainstream star strutter romantic comedies are making a comeback? I mean, earlier this year, we got Marry Me with Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson, both being big names in the industry in their own right, even though their names couldn't save Marry Me as the movie didn't do particularly well at the box office. And now we have Tickets to Paradise with Clooney and Roberts, again, another set of A-list actors starring in a mainstream studio rom-com. It just felt like for a while though that if you wanted to watch a good romantic comedy, the only place that you would be able to turn to was Netflix, but even those movies couldn't capture the rom-com feeling of yesteryear or years past. At least that feeling that the rom-coms provided in the late 80s to early 2000s. But then again, Netflix rom-coms are not truly or necessarily for us millennials or Gen Xers as much as they are for today's Gen Zers. Which is not a knock, not a knock at all. To All The Boys franchise is actually one of my more favorite rom-coms, at least in recent memory. But even with that being said, there is a clear difference in today's rom-coms and the ones that a lot of us grew up with. Enter Ticket to Paradise, which is set to open in US theaters on October 20th first but I was able to catch an early preview and I have some thoughts so let's talk about it. I feel like this is so obvious that it should go without saying, but honestly, that's not really how these reviews work. So with that being said, just to get it out there, George Clooney and Julia Roberts and their scenes together are by far the best parts of this movie. Clooney effortlessly fits in as the successful architect and Roberts naturally meets him as the most important art gallery curator. And even though it feels like it's been years, and maybe it has been years since both these larger than life actors have been in the genre, it's clear that neither of them have made a step. The chemistry that these two individuals share radiates entirely off the screen. It's almost as if these two aren't even acting. It's just two friends playfully bantering with one another. The dialogue between the two is sharp and snappy and I love how both Clooney and Roberts play off each other in grandiose fashion and ease. Now is their acting in Ticket to Paradise the best I've seen from these two? That's an adamant no. However there is no denying that their charismatic magic is still very much alive within them. If anything watching these two watching Ticket to Paradise is a reminder to what it was like way back in the day. Okay, maybe not that far back. But what it was like when A-list big screen stars continually stared in the next big rom-coms that were a steady feature in theaters. And don't get me wrong, the supporting cast in this film were also great. Well, maybe not great. Clooney and Roberts were great, but I mean, it's their movie. But the supporting cast definitely held their own. I'm a huge fan of Caitlyn Dever from Last Man Standing and Booksmart. I mean, she's just as talented and adorable in Ticket to Paradise. And she works brilliantly well with her male co-star, Maxime Boutier. They really sell well two young adults who have fallen in love, and not just a fling, but that their love is the real deal. But of all the supporting castmates to Clooney and Roberts, it's definitely Billy Lord who stands out the most. She offers a lot of of the comedic relief when she's on. However, unfortunately, she's criminally underused. I'm just waiting for the day that she leads her own rom-com film. But yeah, Ticket to Paradise is a leap back in time, almost anywhere between 20 to 30 years back. So while the feeling of nostalgia of seeing your runaway bride on one fine day is great, a strength even, there are some issues with it. First issue is when I say it's a leap back in time, it's just about an unapologetic spitting carbon copy of the rom-com of years past. So the problems of the golden age of rom-coms that we had back then are ever present with this film. For instance, rom-coms of the past were extremely predictable. In fact, I even challenge you to name a rom-com that had an ending that you didn't see coming. FYI, I'm not even gonna hold my breath. And Ticket to Paradise is unfortunately very much the same. One thing I would say with the Netflix rom-coms of late some not all but some have a pretty nice face of realism within their movies ticket to paradise on the other hand does not which is honestly fine it's enjoyable escapism but it definitely leans more into the fantasy and happy ending portion which is also kind of spilling into the overly predictable aspect of the movie but again it's fine but now with the wider range of what the rom-coms can look like and have been looking like it's blatantly noticeable I'm not gonna front with you guys. I absolutely love Ticket to Paradise. I enjoyed the movie a lot. And not because Ticket to Paradise is a great movie. In all actuality, 
It's really not. It's just a really good movie. The movie's not trying to be great or groundbreaking or win an Oscar. Clearly the intent of this movie, the purpose behind Ticket to Paradise, is to have most of us remember the feeling of movies like Notting Hill or How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Again, it's pure escapism, and we get to have Clooney and Roberts back on screen together in what is surprisingly their first rom-com together. Is the movie predictable? Yes. Is it believable? Probably not. But at its core, it's really only meant for escapism. Ticket to Paradise is probably not going to be your favorite or the best written or the most original rom-com of the year. But if you're feeling nostalgic or missing the classic rom-coms of your time, then Ticket to Paradise is absolutely for you. It was made with you in mind. I'm just saying I absolutely enjoyed it. Here's to thinking you will too. But hey, those are only my thoughts. As you already know by now, I want to know yours. What's your favorite George Clooney or Julia Roberts movie? Let me know down below and don't forget to catch the these videos over to my left and I'll catch you guys next time where we get to talk about it. Peace.